worthless friends. In a certain country, there was a rich man. He had only one son. When the son came of age, the father said to him, My boy, of all things on earth, friends are of the utmost value. So I advise you to acquire friends. The boy began to acquire friends. Soon he had a band of youths around him. They treated the boy with utmost regard and appeared to be ready to lay down their lives for him. After a time, the rich man called his son and asked him, Son, could you make any friends? Yes, father, the boy replied. I have plenty of them. Are they all truly your friends? The father asked in surprise. Well, said the son after thinking a while, I can swear that about ten of them are truly my friends. I have lived so long, said the father, and I could not acquire more than one and a half friends. I cannot believe that you have in such a short time found ten good friends. But the son tried to assure the father that these ten friends of his would lay down their lives for his sake. We can very easily verify that, said the father. I want you to do exactly as I tell you. Kill a pig. Put it in a sack. Take the sack and go to each one of your friends secretly. Tell them that you killed a man in rage, that you are likely to be hanged if the fact comes to be known, and that those who try to help you are likely to be hanged too. Then ask them to come to your help. We shall see what they will do. The son put a dead pig in a sack and went to each one of his friends and asked for their help. Not one volunteered to help him. Under the circumstances said one of them, I cannot see how anyone can help you. I request you to not to reveal to anyone that you have been seeing me with the cops. You will gain nothing thereby but unnecessarily implicate me. I am of course ready to die for you, said another. But how are you going to be benefited by my death? I am filled with sorrow that this should happen to you, my dearest friend, said a third. I promise to remember you till my last day. You can depend upon me, said yet another, to carry your body in a procession after they hang you and give you the grandest burial. Thoroughly disillusioned and sad, the boy returned to his father and told him what each one of his friends had said. I am not at all surprised, said the father nodding his head. I have already told you that I have one and a half friends. Do you remember? Let us see how they will come to your help. The boy went with his sack in the dead of the night to his father's half friend and said to him what he had said to all of his friends. The man heard out the boy's statement and replied, I do not know you, but your father happens to be one of my dearest friends. For his sake, I shall help you. He took the boy to his backyard while he dug a pit, put the sack in it and covered it up. Now your crime is buried for good. He said to the boy, you can go about without any fear. When the son reported what had happened, the father sent a message to the chief of police through one of his servants. Your Excellency, the servant said to the chief, My master's son killed a man, put him in a sack and went with it to so and so. This gentleman protected the murderer by burying the sack in his backyard. At once the chief of police sent his men to dig the place and the sack was discovered. Sir, said the half-friend to the chief, I know nothing about this sack. It is true that the young man came to me one night and said to me that he was the son of a particular friend of mine. I have not set eyes upon him either before or since. Maybe he buried the sack in my backyard but I know nothing about it. In the meantime, the son went to the other friend of his father and said to him, Sir, I am the son of such and such person. Unfortunately, I quarreled with a person and killed him. Another friend of my father tried to protect me by burying the dead man in his backyard. But the truth has leaked out and I face the gallows. Can you do anything to save me? At once the gentleman got up and went to the chief of police and said to him, Sir, I have come to know that a certain young man was charged with murder. But I know that boy is innocent for the real murderer is my own son. It is not proper that one should be punished for another's crime. 
so i am constrained to reveal the truth however much i hate to do it kindly let that boy go and hang my son when the rich man came to know of this he said to his son there is a true friend for you son don't think all friends can be so noble he then went to the chief of police and told him what actually happened what the sack contains is only a pig he said you can open it and see for yourself the chief of police did so and was amazed to find only a dead pig in the sack please like share and subscribe if you enjoyed this video do provide your feedback in the comment section below thanks for listening